from uh, Canada. And uh, this was uh, shared with me by a colleague who's also on the board of uh, directors of Vocal. Um, and she shared an email from, from a group who, that was uh, lobbying on this effort in Canada. And it's the CTRC they're talking about. I, I, I don't know exactly what that acronym stands for, but I believe that this is the Canadian equivalent of the FCC. And here's, here's uh, the, from the press release there, the, from the email. The CTRC just ruled that high-speed Internet is now a basic service as essential to our lives as the telephone. From this moment forward, 100% of Canadians must have access to reliable, world-class, mobile and residential Internet services by law. Right, and here's the best part: over 95% of the comments to the CT CRTC came from oh, well, this came from their support from this group, and so this is this is a pitch to the group that that really went out to it. But and they say this is Big Telecom's worst nightmare. The CTRC just stepped in to tell them that the pathetic status quo is an epic fail. And uh, here's here's what you won today. This is this is now the law in Canada. Now keep in mind, in the United States, and you're not going to hear about this on MSNBC, which is owned by Comcast, which is fighting net neutrality. You're not going to hear this, about this on CNN, owned by Time Warner, which, uh, and, and, you know, which has a position on, I believe, has a position on, on net neutrality. Uh, but this is, this is the, this is the and, it, and this is the situation here. Under, under what's called Title II of the Telecommunications Act, the FCC, a couple of years ago, classified broadband as common carrier status. In other words, they're the same as telephone services. Um, they didn't go so far as to say everybody has a right to it, but they said that net neutrality is the law of the land. Now, Donald Trump and his administration, the Republicans, actually, I should say the Republicans in Congress and Mike Pence, I don't think Trump even understands this, are fixing to, to, to destroy this. And their lobbyists are coming in. But this is what you get with, in Canada. Here's what you want today. Universal access to mobile and residential Internet, number one. Number two, packages with unlimited data. Number three, funding support for rural and remote connections. Number four, world-class internet speeds, 50 up, 10 down, or 100 down, excuse me. Minimum quality guarantees for your internet. And they say, not bad, eh? Okay, so that's what's going on in Canada with regard to the internet. Not so much here. Here, you know, we have the wonderful privilege of being basically ripped off by many of our internet service providers, or at least paying higher prices than pretty much anywhere else in the developed world.